Hi guys, welcome to the special video where we will be talking about the bridge movie Double Dummy with its creator John McAllister. Welcome John on the stream. Hey Milan, uh, thank you so much for having me here. Uh, it's great to see you and great to be with you. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Well, uh, I just saw the movie before, but can you tell us a little bit more? What is it all about? Uh, yeah, so uh, Double Dummy features a team of Americans playing in the Junior World Championships of Bridge, um, the Under 21 series. Uh, and uh, we recut the film uh, recently in the last year and a half, and we've been getting a lot of positive responses to this new version. Yeah, well, that's great. I just watched the previous one, so I'm looking forward also to see what changes were in the in the new versions. So um, happy, happy just that uh, you are sharing it with uh, my audience. And I just uh, know that you told me that uh, the screening is kind of for free, so people can watch for free. But of course, donations are very welcome and you have your own web page, right? Yeah, so um, we started making this film in 2012 and uh, we so we've been working on it all, for a long time. And the goal of the film is to help introduce is to help you help our, your viewers to help the bridge players of the world introduce a new generation of players to bridge. And so we want people to see the film like that's the most important thing. We don't want our work to go unused. So we're making the film available for free for your uh, audience. And uh, if if you like the film and if you support our mission, absolutely, please donate. Uh, that helps us get uh, more people to see the film and helps us pay for the cost of, of producing the film. Yeah. So guys, please uh, share also the link uh, with your friends. You can just see it below the video um, and in the comments. And um, yeah, well, please donate because if John started with 2012, right now it has been incredible nine years. So is it like that, that long that uh, you were working on that? Um, yes. I mean, yes and no. I, I am uh, not always the most diligent person. And so sometimes the film has taken a back seat. You know, I've been fortunate to play a lot of bridge. Uh, you and I met at the 50th Tel Aviv International Bridge Festival. So uh, if I had been possibly more focused on the film, we released another version of the film in 2017, but it just, it, it needed a lot of workshopping and uh, it didn't really, didn't really have the effect uh, that I wanted. And so we went back to, back to work and, and I'm much prouder of this new film. I think it's a lot stronger and the feedback that we've gotten is, is evidence of that. Yeah. So, uh, you said to a group that you had a team, how many people is involved in, in this movie? Um, so, uh, I mean, not the I mean, actors. We, yeah. That's, I don't even know how to answer that question. I mean, probably, probably a hundred approximately like just over the course of all the different things. I mean, we basically the film started, I went to a brainstorming session at my first NABC. How do we get more young people interested in learning bridge? And it came out of that. And the, the two other producers are friends of mine who are filmmakers. And so the, the film kind of started as a conversation between the three of us about how they thought I was the only person they knew who played bridge okay if you don't mind i'll just uh, play a little bit of the trailer here so people okay. know yeah absolutely please do in as brief a manner possible tell us how we play the game of bridge <laughs> That's hard. It's a really hard question. Bridge is the most interesting game in the world. It's hard to learn. I just find it incredibly boring. The normal response is something like, oh, my grandma plays that. The stereotype isn't always correct, if you know what I mean. <laughs> 
To be in a partnership, if something wrong happens, you just have to accept it and just move on. You have nine different lines. That's disgusting. No. <laughs> disgusting. You know, they're playing for a gold medal here, a world championship. They're going to feel pressure. I mean, you know, they know what's at stake here. No, they're definitely not all set. Definitely not all set. They want to know if we're going to beat the U.S. Of course. No question about it. You can't beat 3-0 no, and I have no idea But you, you know, have. you know what's going on in the sport. I have no idea what's you going on. This. Bridge is a game of mistakes, so they're going to make mistakes. A huge part of it is going to be to not let mistakes rattle them. We're down, poised for our very big comeback. Shut up. Shut up. There will always be a percentage of young people that will regard it as the greatest game they've ever seen and play the rest of their lifetime. Yeah, so guys, this was just uh, a little teaser what's uh, coming on in the full movie. So it's all about a team which is trying and well uh, i will not spoil because you want to watch the movie uh to win the world championships and just watching the trailer you know it reminds my youth age when i was at uh, the world championships as well and all the thrill and enthusiasm about the the young guys that's just amazing so really go and uh, watch that Thank you, John, for uh, creating and doing so much effort in, in like, not just this movie, but in, in the bridge world. And I think since we have you here, it would be nice that if we play a couple of boards and uh, just discuss a little bit of bridge. What do you think? Okay, that sounds good. Uh, that, that's, that's why I made the movie. I love playing bridge. Okay, guys, so I'm just uh, going to get an uh, log video there and because we had it all set. And we'll just play boards. It might be a little bit different than uh, what you are uh, used to from Funbridge because we will be playing on the BBO, uh, which I'm not uh, that used to. But. I will do my best and I guess that same will John and we'll play at the same time which means that nobody has an advantage of knowing what's the scores of the of the other one okay so I, I've got it here John, so feel free to to play the first board, and right. um, once we finish, let's let's discuss it a little bit. Yeah, Stanley, I I comment this for my viewers what I'm what I'm doing, um, but obviously <laughs> that might help you as well because I just I just really hope that they're playing uh like to know as, as some kind of an invitation or how how is their approach but let's see obviously i guess we will be playing minimum at four hearts at both tables so at the end this might be only the matter of over tricks I'm not saying anything. Well, it might be a little bit worse. Maybe I didn't play that uh, the best way. Okay. Are you done? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I will be finishing 
Wait, 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 wait. No misclicks. BBO. No misclicks. Oof. You missed back. No, no, no. Well, I misclicked, but it didn't cost. It didn't cost anything, I guess. Here, because uh, the guy uh, who doesn't have three diamonds didn't have the second round of trumps. I didn't catch two rounds of trumps. Okay. So I will just uh, I will just claim here making because I will not try uh, to screw them up. Maybe maybe here on fun bridge, but just not. Uh, sorry, maybe here the computers claim six more tricks contract making. Okay, I want to do that. That's fine. So how about do we do we see the results here? No, we just no. had we just have a second board, right? Yeah, in Funbridge, if you play a challenge, can you see the result after the? Yeah, you you see the score immediately. Which uh, okay, now they kicked me on even from BBO. This is not what's happening standardly. But once you finish, you actually see. So if you are playing, seconds, uh, you know what what are the scores uh, of Got of it. your opponent. So that's <laughs> that's helping a lot. Because then uh, you might gamble a little bit. And now, obviously, it's too many things running at my computer. Okay, I'm, I'm back. So, uh, what was the score? Uh, plus 650. 650, so you made an over trick. Did you get a, a club lead? Uh, so, I bid over double, I bid four hearts. Okay, I, I just tried two no trumps first, but uh, there's definitely an option. Standardly, I would like to splinter here with two good owners, uh, but I know that robots are usually not very good with splinters. Well, so I bid four hearts and then West bid five clubs, which I was not happy about. Okay, so... And then, and then it got passed back to me, so I doubled. And then my partner bid five hearts, which I was also not happy about. <laughs> so where did you steal the extra trick? Uh, they let a heart. Yeah, same same I, against me. And I won it, and I drew the second round of Trump, and then I played the eight of spades, and they played the queen, and I ducked. And they didn't cash the club. So now they cash the ace of clubs and played a diamond. Oh, okay, so then you can finesse uh, the spade and discard the diamond, right? Yeah, and they were actually squeezed uh, because they had the doubleton. Uh, West only had two diamonds. Yeah, I didn't give I, I didn't give it much thought, so I immediately played a diamond, which was obviously stupid. But if you just cash two rounds of hearts and then try to eliminate the suits, uh, then you can just run the nine of diamonds around the table secure 10, uh, 10 tricks but it's actually quite strange that you might make 11 i would say that uh, this should have been 12 imps for me while i'm losing an imp but they doubled me they doubled you in five <laughs> okay yeah. so it's not minus one but that's what that's 850 so 230 is six so you have the lead of six so I need to focus a little bit more on the second board. So let's go. Because everything here is a single click. I'm used to like click, confirm or double click. Yeah, I play a lot of challenges against uh, a friend of mine and we definitely misclick. It's a problem. <clears throat> Okay, nice lead partner. <laughs> Sounds like you got the same lead I did. <laughs> no. Okay. Close to another misclick. You know, on Funbridge, I never misclicked. <laughs> here is the second board, but it's also mm. like the delay since I'm running a lot of software here. 
uh, it's not like the smoothest. What's happening Are you playing here? the third word now? What's happening? Oh, he's still trying to draw the trumps. Oh, and if you hear some background no noises, it's Amanda coming back from school. Okay, come on. I think you might claim. I don't know how the robots like to claim. Obviously, partner will have a trump and. It's not counting. Here we go. Club. No, small heart. Okay. So unfortunately, I didn't have an entry to give partner a promotion. So at the end, the contract is making. How did you do? Same. They made four hearts, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I I had a feeling that it's it could be way better. It was a fine lead. But we just have the spade, heart. Club and I don't have an entry with with the diamonds. Yeah, tough, tough one. To give your part, what you were you're gonna give your partner a what suit? Were you giving your partner a, a rough in? Yeah, well, uh, I didn't, but um, in in diamonds I had the jack. Well, I don't see the board. I don't know. Um, okay, in um, in history probably I can get the board right. Yeah. Yeah, if, if only it will work. It's just everything takes an enormous amount of time. So I will try to focus on the next board as well. To play, because I like to play a bit faster. Okay. So he declare has to get rid of all the, all the clubs. And I feel that if partner will lead a trump at some point, declare... Mm. Uh, can discard one on a spade, but then if he tries to rough two of them Unfortunately partner have the seven and six so the eight will will over rough it So if he just plays diamonds and not the spade give him two two roughs He might have a little bit more problems Okay board free These computers are acting a little bit weird. I mean, nobody wants to bid. Do you know how they lead? What's the standard agreement with the robots? I think they lead fourth best. Hmm, okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. That's good news. <laughs> I'm hearing <What>? some issues. <laughs> oh. oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, not not the best switch for myself. What are you playing board three now? No, no, they they just play free clubs, boring, relatively boring free clubs. I bit I have bit uh, three times, <laughs> and my partner just passed from the beginning till the end. <laughs> so I'm you not... haven't seen your partner's hand yet, have you? You definitely no. haven't. I just I just see Queen Jack in spades, King of Hearts, which he voluntarily sacrificed. Didn't play the diamonds to force declare to Ralph. I think you know I'm quite happy now with Funbridge because uh, we're complaining quite a lot with uh, with the people around, right? Right, yeah. Chad. Uh, but this is um, this is terrible. I mean, there is no line of defense. I don't even know if, if there is like any plan. Okay, so. Uh, we we let them make free clubs, which I think is kind of disastrous. Okay, so minus one minus one ten for them. What's your score? Uh, same. Same. Okay. But wait, look at look at your partner's hand. You bid three times. Look at your partner's hand. Okay, so let me let me have a look. Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> six hearts. Okay. Six hearts, three diamonds, queen jack. So actually in diamonds we lose one, uh, one heart, but there might be something good happening. Maybe, maybe one spade and we just rough, rough some clubs. Can so we I make three now? Three diamonds should be easy. Three no... Three no five six seven eight for sure and they will give us either a heart or a club. So three no from south is quite easy. North with eight points didn't even want it to bid a single time. Well, it's tough for him. He doesn't have like a great bid. At least if he raised Two diamonds. I doubled first. I guess you did the same, yeah. right? Yeah. Then after yeah. two clubs, I bid two diamonds. So yeah. now I think if he raises two free diamonds, then uh, we both know that East is short in hearts, so partner must be loaded with hearts. So suddenly, knowing about the diamond fit and ace queen in clubs, having the ace, free no trump starts to be possible. But since partner passed like four times, <laughs> how how can we get there? Okay. I mean, imagine if West had passed one heart. That was going sailing. <laughs> yeah. If if partner passes. <laughs> yeah, I mean I, I I mean yeah. Anyway, I I was hopeful when I when they went one heart pass pass to me. I was like my partner but I couldn't imagine my partner had such a good hand until the until the end. Okay, so I'm uh, already at board, board four. I guess you might you might be finished already. Uh, I no, I'm just I'm uh, six tricks into board four. Yeah, I just need to get some imps here, which once again might be a bit tough with what which what I'm seeing. Yeah, spoiler, but didn't make the best lead, <laughs> at least at my table. Same. Well, at least it didn't go two spades double off pass. <laughs> yeah, I was a little bit afraid about that. <laughs> well, I have two tricks, come on. <laughs> so at least give me an imp. I don't want more, I just, I, I just want an imp. <laughs> to be ready for the last board because obviously there I need to score a lot nope 
Okay, I scored. <coughs> I scored three tricks. Same. Yeah, I think he just he just cashed what was his. On fun bridge, usually they claim for you. Here you have to oh, claim. Really? So which, at well, if it is clear that you have all the top cards, I mean um, it's it's a little better better that they claim uh, for yourself, but. Um, Sometimes, you know, on, on fun bridge, if you play and the contract is, is there and the opponent knows, then uh, they will just help you and give away the contract. You know, there might be very tricky end play elimination or a squeeze, but they know that they will be end played. So they just play an honor or, or unblock something to help like the players who will not try to figure that out. So you're saying that they will make like an end play for the declarer? Uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. So they they just not very often if you just play like properly and give them the chance to screw up, they voluntarily uh, screw up to to help like the weaker players or basically everyone because you might have a finesse or an end play, and they just help you with that. I don't know how it is here on BBO. So that's a weakness of the robots, you're saying? Uh, well, it's it's a question if it is a weakness, because it's um, obviously a goal of the programmers, and I think <clears throat> it just puts the fields more equal, you know? Huh. Because if you're playing um, with computers, it's just a little bit about fun, and it's more... It's not for the professional players, uh, right. or for the top top national players. So uh, this way, you know, even the club players or advanced players have a chance to to get the same scores if they play or if, if the beginning of the line uh, is reasonable. So I think they're just helping weaker players to get on the on the same same line to motivate them, which which I think is is a good thing to do. Oh, I can actually make on board one i can actually make it legitimately it says double dummy says yeah double dummy so probably your your guys and the double dummy uh movie can analyze that for us as well <laughs> now we know that they are all stars okay huh. yeah i'm just i'm just watching in that and uh east is really squeezed and and played but if they if they lead a club and play the diamond through yeah you just cannot do anything right if you win with with the ace you draw all the trumps maybe so there will be a four card ending and he will have two spades and two diamonds but they already have a club they will get the spade and a diamond. I don't see a way how you can make after a small club towards the king. Okay. Oh, no, no. No, I'm saying when they lead a heart. When they lead a heart. Oh, okay. Well, when they lead a heart. So that's yeah. uh, that's possible. Okay. So let's just focus on the last board. Because I have to do I have to do a miracle here. I don't think you get I don't think you're going to get it, my man. I don't think you can get the miracle you're hoping for. Okay, let's try. <laughs> it doesn't look like. I mean, why the hell is partner passing always here? At least on Funbridge you are declaring. Now, I mean, we played f four boards so far. And we could have defended all four. <laughs> Okay, at least I'm. Oh declaring. yeah, I didn't make I didn't make it best hand. I just did. Uh, I didn't do best hand. I unclicked that. Okay, I'm declaring, and it doesn't look very uh, successful. If they, okay, I'm, I should go down one, but maybe they will try. What's the contract? I play in free clubs. Oh, uh, that's. One, 
four, five, six. I don't think you can make that. No, I have to lose three spades and a diamond. But maybe they somehow screw up. <laughs> now they start cashing the spades. Okay, this is <laughs> this is the second round of spades. Come on. But still I have three three small opposite three small, so I don't see a way. What what did you play? Well, I misclicked. I forgot to bid two clubs over one diamond. Oh. Uh, so it went one spade, pass, pass, and now I bid two clubs, and they bid two hearts. Wait, and they played it one, one spade. So one club, one diamond over call. Yeah. You passed. And I passed. Yeah. Okay. And lefty bid one spade. And now north passed, east passed, and I bid two clubs. Okay. And west bid two hearts, and that went all past. Well, that's good, because I'm going down for 200. <laughs> because they, they, roughed, they roughed me the third round of diamonds. So I tried not to play the diamonds. I tried to draw the trumps. But suddenly, out of nowhere, they just uh, smartly defend. Okay, let's let's try to squeeze them. Nope. No mistake. Suddenly no mistake. Okay, now but well this was my to be honest, this was my first challenge on BBO. And now we get the scores. Where do we get the scores? Okay, minus two. Here we go. Here it is. So zero eight. Okay. Here we are. I'm putting that on my wall. <laughs> yeah, well, usually it, uh, it's not that easy. It's not easy to beat me in the challenges but uh, somehow here the first board just made it uh, all clear because mm -hmm. in the other ones i kind of gambled on the last one that, that i win in free clubs uh, which could have been a little bit close because that would that would actually possibly uh, be six or seven imps so i could have tied if they if they made a part score on on your side so I think I did my best, and even if I do better, I couldn't win. Because um, I would not be able to get into five hearts, get doubled. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was not happy when they did five clubs over. over uh, it's hard to imagine actually letting us play four hearts with the, uh, with the West cards on, on, uh, on board one. He's got eight clubs. Yeah, now I can have a look. So let's see if if we see a little bit more than just white screen. Uh, but John, tell us. Um, I mean, what is what is your like bridge at this moment? Um, so I'm gonna be playing in the North American Bridge Championships that are starting uh, the day after Thanksgiving here in the U.S. in Austin. Um, I've play i mean i love to play i'm i'm a sponsor so i hire uh people or i have in the past for like world championships for the u.s nationals um sometimes for regionals even i've played bridge i think in like 16 countries uh not in czech not in the czech republic yet next november uh, next november we'll should have well uh, I'm, I'm going to organize uh, bridge festival so hopefully uh, we will see how the COVID situation and traveling will allow us but I miss playing in the US as well so in, in Austin is it uh, clear now that it will be live um, I think it's pretty well I'm not gonna knock on wood I, I think it's pretty well established that it's gonna happen yeah you have to have uh, I think you have to be vaccinated and you have to wear a mask. Um, I think those are part of it and I'm pretty sure it's going to happen, yeah, which is well, great. That's, that's, that's good to hear because uh, all the championships which 
were cancelled or moved online it just lose lose all the spirit of the game so I guess everybody is looking forward to get back to the tables but in the meantime guys we have the computers we have the BBO where we can practice a little bit so hopefully once we meet we'll be all in shape and uh, perform better I know there's a regional going on this week in Las Vegas and uh, I understand that the attendance is is wasn't so good at least on Monday but that at the top level like the top KO you had to have like 80,000 master points to get in the top bracket which is a lot like it's I mean that's so really strong field but uh, maybe not great attendance yeah I mean this is this is the bad thing when um, I was like in the US we just got some adjusted master points at uh, that time I just got 5,000 you know and I think we were legit, uh, especially now if I come to US, I think I would be quite legit to play first or second bracket or whatever in the knockouts. Um, but it would be impossible if I'm not in the team uh, where people have over 100,000, uh, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's a little bit tricky. Maybe now I might, I might get a little bit more than just uh, 5,000. But it's... You know, it's it's tough. I, I understand the logic and the reasons, but this was always a little bit uh, tricky for me to to understand how we can like come there and uh, play against the good teams. Yeah, that, I, mean, I agree. Like in in the champ in the events I played in in Europe, for example, or Asia, you know, you don't have that. You just everybody's playing in the same event, which uh, I think is. Uh, it's frustrating for me too because I don't have that many master points. I only have like three thousand. Uh, so, um, well, at least you can play the other events where you don't have those pros. You know, the zero to five thousand <laughs> or those. <laughs> to no, play. I don't like to play in those. Yeah, understand. I, I wanna, Different I like to bridge, right? Yeah. Um, so, did you stream this? Like, was this streaming as we were? Uh, like yeah, live? yeah, yeah. Well, we are still we are still live, but um, okay. I think at at this point, because I I want to give the audience a little bit of the experience, because a lot of them are from Europe and they might not know what's uh, happening in the U.S. as well. So it's good to hear that you are coming back to normal and the championships are running. Uh, yeah. Hopefully next year the EBL will start organizing the championships as well. So also for us, we'll have uh, the chance, but um, I'm glad that since September I was actually at free bridge festivals here in Europe. So we're coming back to normal as well. Well, let me give you a, uh, let me give you the link for the film so people can yeah. watch it. Okay. Uh, well, guys, uh, just the link for, don't forget that we just played and discussed a little bit uh, here about bridge. But as well, below the video, you will find the link where you can just uh, get to the Double Dummy uh, movie and you can uh, watch it for free. But the best will be if you just uh, share it uh, with your friends and uh, then donate a little bit because you just heard how many people were involved, how much time it, it, it actually costed to create this film there will several iterations and, and and tryings improvements so uh guys it's all up to you and thank you very much uh john for being here the host uh, to tell a little bit and congrats on beating me uh in this challenge i'm taking a i'm taking a screenshot and i'm framing it milan <laughs> okay okay so thank you and uh all right man good to see you bye. i hope to